Hello and welcome. In today's video, we are going to be discussing how you can register a U.S. company as a non-U.S. citizen without visiting the U.S. Now, there are many benefits of forming a U.S. company and I am going to start by telling you my own personal experiences. By forming a U.S. company, I have been able to have access to many things that was inaccessible before. I now have access to a Stripe account that I can use to accept international debit and credit card payments for my business, for my website, and from clients all over the world. Stripe is unavailable in my country, but because I created and formed a US company, I was able to register on Stripe as a US company and I got access to it legally. And this is something I have been sharing on my blog since 2017 and also on this channel since last year and the feedbacks has been amazing and now i also have access to a u.s business bank account at mercury that allows me to receive u.s dollar payments and at the end of the day i can transfer this to my local bank account and these transactions are free of charge and you can only have access to this as a non-us citizen if you form a u.s company also, you can activate Shopify Payments Gateway if you're a non-US citizen, if you have a US company. And people who use Shopify know that this is a big relief. With a US company, you cannot imagine the kind of opportunities you are going to have. For example, there are some platforms and some verifications you might have to do, but then your country isn't eligible. But you can register and complete these verifications as a US company and you're going to have access to it. There are other benefits such as a large customer base and increased credibility. But aside from all I have mentioned, there are many other reasons people might want to form a US company. Also, if you have a Google AdSense account, you can submit your tax information using your LLC and Google might not be deducting taxes from your earnings. When forming your US company, it is very important you also apply for an EIN number because just like SSNs are important for US citizens, that is how EIN numbers are also important for our LLCs as a non-US citizen because without that, your company registration is still incomplete and you might not and won't be able to do anything using your company. And that is why I am making this video so that I can help you make the right choices. Now that we have explained the benefits of forming a US company, it is now time to go over to the next step which is choosing a state. Now what do I mean? Before you get started with forming your US company, you have to choose a state in the US where you want to form your LLC. Now there are over 50 states in the United States of America, you have to choose a state from these states and form your LLC. Each state has its own state fees that you pay to the government of that state to form your LLC. In addition, most of this state has an annual fee. Now, there are cheap and expensive states, and these are examples of expensive states. Massachusetts state fee is $500, and the annual fee is also $500. And from the list, you can see other states that are also expensive and there are more of them now as a non-us citizen i wouldn't think of forming my us company in any of the states why because it's way over my budget and secondly it is expensive but i have done the research for you and put together cheap and affordable states where you can form your llc because as a non-us citizen you are at liberty to form your LLC in any state you want, giving you the opportunity to choose a state that is cheap in order to register your US company. But if you are a US citizen, it is necessary and recommended that you form your US company in the state where you currently live. The states on your screen right now are cheap and affordable and you can choose any states from this list to register your US company. And from this list, you're going to see a state or some states that has a $0 annual fee, meaning you just pay the state fees and there is no or are no recurring cost for that state. 
now that we have decided which state to form our LLC, it is now show time. We are going to be forming our US company and that is including our LLC. We are also going to apply for EIN number, which is employer identification number. And then we'll proceed to get all our paperwork right and we're going to do all of this at ink file and ink file is a formation company which i have been using since 2017 and this company will allow you to form your u.s company from the comfort of your home especially for non-u.s citizen meaning you can form your u.s company right now wherever you are and it will be successful and at ink file we are also going to get a registered agent address which will serve as our business address and now this business address is what you're going to use whenever you are doing anything online with your us company probably you are signing up for something using your us company then you need to use that business address for example if you're signing up on stripe then you have to use this business address that came along with your company they also form llc's super fast at least in 48 hours and the support is amazing they also offer the best value for price and I'm recommending them because it is a formation company I've been using to form my company and for others. They are very affordable to use and if you know me by now, I like making things easier for people. So let's get started. On your browser, go to llcmodel.com slash ink file and you can also find the link in the description of this video. And when it opens, you have to click on the start my business button. And when this comes up, you have to select your entity type, which is LLC, because we're going to form an LLC. And for the state of formation, you have to choose the state where you want to form your LLC. Along the line in this video, I showed you cheap and affordable states where you can form your LLC as a non-US citizen. So you can choose from this list of states and form your LLC. So I'm going to be forming mine in New Mexico. Now, it is recommended you go with either the gold plan or the platinum plan because these are the two plans that has the complete package we want. These are the two plans that has the EIN business tax number that we discussed earlier in this video. And the platinum plan also has this EIN business tax number right along with all the features that you need for your u.s company and infa is going to do all of that for you they are going to process all the paperwork and form your u.s company pretty quick so the difference between the gold plan and the platinum plan are the extra features that comes with the platinum plan which are the domain name plus business email free nest day filing and business contract templates so you can choose between gold plan or platinum plan if these three things here is what you want. But with the gold plan, you can be sure of forming your US company within 48 hours, right? And that is it. So the recommendation here is to go with either the gold plan or the platinum plan because the silver plan is not recommended because it just forms your us company for you it doesn't come with a ein number which is very important and it doesn't come with all of these things here which are also important as a company owner so i'll be going ahead with the gold package let's click and get the gold package and when you get here the contact person you have to enter your first name and your last name and if you have a third name then i'll show you how to do that so my first name is joy my last name is socorro and then my third name so that is how you do it now for the email you have to enter your email address that you want to use and form this llc probably it's not going to show in your llc documents it is just used to create an account for you on ink file and then for the mobile number section you can click on the drop down and then select your country code right and when you select your country code you can enter your phone number 
and when you get to the mailing address section you have to enter an address from your home country because this is the primary address that will be used for delivery of any documents or products that is related to your order so we are going to click on the drop down and select our country and after selecting your country you enter the street address if there is a continuation you enter it in this box as well as your city your state and your zip code and now you will get to the next section which is the state filing time and here they are asking you to pay an extra fifty dollars to get your llc to be formed in three days time or you can pay zero dollar and your company will be formed in three weeks time but go ahead and select the zero dollar which is the three weeks filing time but it's not going to take that long your llc is going to be formed in less than 48 hours or highest three days so go ahead and select the zero dollar option and then let's click on next for the next section which is the company information this is where you enter your choice of business name that is going to be your llc name or us company name so i'm going to use hop of sense and then the designator i'm going to use llc but you can either choose limited company limited liability co or limited liability company which is the full meaning but i'm just going to keep it short and select llc and then you're going to see the preview here now for the next one which is number of members or owners if you are the only owner of your llc if you are the only owner then you can choose one if you are two business partners your three business partners then you can select two or three how many you guys are you can select it here for the business purpose you have to provide them a brief description of your business and what you'll be using it for and then you will have to select an industry keyword of where your business relates to so to get started you have to enter a keyword so that they can make some recommendations for you so i'm just going to select business in your own case you can search to get a better related category and when i search business i'm going to see business startup consulting services right and then for your company address information this is where they give you the option of using their own professional business address and virtual mail service and if you use this option you're going to pay at least 29 dollars a month right but if you don't have that kind of money to pay 29 dollars a month you can choose to use your own address now go to shipit2.com and when it opens create an account sign up for an individual free account and when you do that you will get an address a free address now use this address and give them here the next page will be an upsell page where they will ask you to upgrade to the premium service package which is also the platinum package right so we're gonna ignore all of this and then click on no thanks i'll pass on the opportunity but if you like any of these things you're seeing here then you can get upgrade and bonus and if you're doing that that means you are now upgrading to the platinum plan but i will click on no thanks and pass on this opportunity and now you get to the member one section where you have to enter some details about the owner of the business remember i selected that i am the only owner of the business and i selected only one owner and that is why i'm entering this information here so it is going to be at individual and then i would select my name so that i can fill and then i would select this second box so that the address will auto fill for the next section which is your registered agent information like i said this registered agent information will give you a business address that you can use alongside your newly formed us company for example if you're going to sign up on stripe you can use this business address as your us company address and you can complete the registration so we're going to allow Inkfile to be our registered agent, right? And this is free for one year and the following year costs $119.
So let's click on next. But if you want to act as your own registered agent, that is fine. But you have to make sure that if you select this, the address you're going to give here will be an address in New Mexico or the address in the state you chose to form your US company. For mine, I chose to form my US company in New Mexico, right? That means if I'm going to act as my own registered agent, the address needs to be in New Mexico. And if you chose a state other than New Mexico, then the address you have to enter here needs to be an address in that state. But I'm going to leave this with the first option so that Inkfire can act as my registered agent. Over to the next step. In this section, you have to provide some information for your employer identification number, which is your EIN. And this is where they get the information in order to apply for your EIN number, which is very, very important. For this, I am a foreign individual and do not have a social security number. The answer is yes. When this pops up, you will have to confirm you are not a US citizen and you've never been issued an SSN number before. Also, it says that the time frame to obtain the EIN number could take up to three or more months. But I have good news for you. I have included a link or a free guide in the description of this video as well. This guide will show you how you can get your EIN number in less than a month. That is after forming your US company, after completing this process, right? You don't have to wait for three months. It's a free guide. So just check the description to have access to it. So click on I agree and then tick your name so that it can be auto filled. Now for the first go straight address, we are going to see two addresses here. The first address is the one from your home country. The second address is the US address that you got from Ship It To or wherever you got it from since it asked us for our fiscal street address. And this has to do with the issuance of our employer identification number. That is our tax ID number. Then we need this to be our home address. So I'm just going to select my home country where I live. So go ahead and tick the box, whichever one that contains the address from your home country. And for the next step, which is setting up our small business banking. Normally, I don't usually go for this, which is Bank of America, because it costs money and sometimes you might have to pay monthly or maintenance costs to keep the bank account active. That is why after forming my US company, I wait for my EIN number to be available and then I register for a US business bank account at Mercury.com and every transaction on there are free of charge and it is easy to create an account everything goes smoothly and i know it will be the same for yours so this is optional so you can say i will apply online when my business permission documents are ready or you can say no not at this time you can also have them call you that is you can have a bank of america specialist call you and then click on next the next section is a tax strategy slash free consultation where you can have them call you and you can also ask them any tax questions you may have in mind although they might try to upsell some services to you but that is left for you to make a choice right so i would just say yes or you can say no whichever one i mean it's a choice and then click on next and then you get to this section saying business licenses and permits obviously if you are a non-us citizen you i don't think there's a need for this right so we are going to say no thanks i'll do the work myself and then next and you're going to see a review or summary of all the things you've been entering throughout your registration so you can go through all of these details and if there is one that is incorrect probably you made an error you can click on edit and you can go back to enter your correct information and if you can look at the right corner of our page you're going to see the price we are going to pay for our formation company which is 249 dollars and this is a very affordable price considering the fact that some formation companies charge from $400 to $1,200 and above to form your US company. And 
Paying $250 to form your US company as ink file is a game changer and I think it's affordable and it is the most affordable formation company that you might see around. And this section is where you make your payment. So for the credit and debit card section, you can enter your card information. And this billing address is the address that is registered with the card you are using so that they can confirm the right person that is the owner of the card is the person using it to make the payment. So when you are here, enter the necessary information for them, click on I agree box and then click on complete and pay and you are done. The next page will show you your registration was successful and you can relax and then wait for them to do the work. So this is how you can form a US company as a non-US resident without the need to visit the US and you can do all of this from the comfort of your home.